Hi there viewers, I'm aware it's been a long time since I've posted a video and I can only apologise for that. Um, I've been fairly busy with things like work, but I thought I'd go over something interesting today with you, which is the new Epic Audio line from Dayton Audio. It's currently two subwoofer drivers, a 5.5 and a 7 inch model. Um, today it's just going to be an unboxing and a quick look at some of the parameters and maybe a little bit of excursion testing as well. So starting with the 5 inch model, you can see the packaging's very nice in a nice nondescript black box with this silver lettering. It does look very impressive. What's more impressive is what's lurking inside the box. So it's really nicely packaged with this closed cell foam, keeps the driver safe in transport so you know that when you open it up it's going to arrive in one piece. So removing the driver from the box, very well held in there. We can see it features a carbon fibre cone and dust cap and a large santaprene rubber surround. And this, this material holds up really well against all sorts of abuse and it's fairly resistant to ultraviolet and is inherently waterproof as well. Spinning the driver over we can see that it uses a, a cast frame with a pre-applied gasket which is a really nice touch. It's a, a good thick gasket so when you load the driver into your enclosure, there's no worries about air leaks or other noise and vibration. Taking a closer look at the motor of the driver, we can see as per Dayton's marketing material, it has the two separate top plates which forms the M-Mag motor assembly. This is bonded to a large ferrite magnet and a vented pole to keep the driver nice and cool. There's also a large flat spider with integrated tinsel leads and a large vented voice coil. The idea behind the M-Mag motor is to split the gap into two, which creates two regions of high magnetic flux. So as the coil moves and begins to leave one gap, it enters the other and the net force produced is flatter than a traditional driver. You essentially take the energy from this part of the curve and move it here. The penalties of this of course are a slight knock to sensitivity at the expense of flatter overall BL which gives lower distortion over a longer range of movement. Moving on to the 7 inch driver it's very much the same process, same nice packaging And we can open the box to reveal the same soft foam encasing the driver. It is of course very familiar now that you've seen the five and a half, just the larger cone. It shares the same motor structure just in a seven inch form factor. So this might be more suitable for more of a, a large a uh, bookshelf speaker or a small subwoofer application whereas the five and a half inch woofer is more suitable for a small bookshelf two-way system. Pairing them side by side we can see the difference in form factor. Dual 3.2 ohms. So it gives you a lot of flexibility to wire this down to a, a 2 ohm woofer. If you're using multiple drivers that's really useful or you can wire it in series to 8 ohms which is very common in hi-fi applications.
that's a very quick overview of the new Dayton Audio Epic range of subwoofers. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next videos which will be a more in-depth look at the drivers including looking at clipper results from data that I've measured myself to validate the drivers as well as a bit more excursion testing and a look at how I'm going to deploy these woofers. <laughs>